I watched back one of my videos and I saw that the um the screen top right where I'm, where you guys see me right now that it actually positions all the way in the corner by itself. So I don't know if if I make it bigger, if it will be bigger, but <clears throat> I can make it slightly bigger. But I don't know if that will change anything because yeah. Ooh, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> got my tea. And today is Friday. Already, damn. Time goes so fast lately. It's good, but at the same time, oh, man, I wish I had 48 hours in a day because I just love to be here. I just love to work and stuff. And I wish time went in. I like it. Like, if time goes fast, it's fun, you know, but. I wish I had more time in the day just to have more fun and all that. Working on more stuff. But yeah, I guess it is what it is. Um, yesterday I took a trade. Okay, and quickly run over that. I closed it out at break even. Good call. I saw this as early buyers and it just wasn't because we were on the way down. We had that push, but this was lag. We had a high, a low, a lower high, and then a lower low. So this is no early. Early buyers it was just a mistake. I did, I did class it. I did class it as early buyers like this. But if you see down here, this is actually where we broke below previous day. Those are this early buyers. Why we got on that minor structure? Then that's this. That's where like. That's where you should be looking. Well, that that the other one was quite valid as well. Let's go to the 15 one more time or to the five minutes better because see that one is quite fairly as well but it reaches back into that discount or the premium pricing of this leg so that makes it not really valid and if you go to the lower time and it's the one minute although it's the one minute here you, you have a clear we stay below that premium pricing we have a high low lower high lower low lower high lower low Lower high, low, sorry, lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low. <laughs> and we got a lower high, lower low, bullish break, and then bullish break. So that's our first early buyers, actually. That's a mistake I made yesterday. So I was lucky. And I was, no, I was greedy. I was greedy because look, my entry slipped. Up here to all the way up here. Uh, super, super strange. But, and then I was greedy. I wanted to get the entire trade, but essentially I closed it over here and then it slipped my exit as well. It was a break even trade, but with the slippage, it was not quite that break even. I guess it is what it is. But yeah, that was the trade I took yesterday. Check, not, not checking out, it was a well informed decision. And I knew that if it would play out, I would have made a mistake and I would have made money off a loss. If it wouldn't play out, I would have hit myself. Or if I stayed in trade, I would have um yeah, punished myself for that as well. So glad I just went out. All right, there. Oh man, the TT needs some more power to it. Ruber mint. <clears throat> anyway, today's pre-market analysis. Where are we? Where can we go? And what are we looking for? Well, we got lower. We got below that previous daily low. Um, that's nice. We can now extend this range. Slightly, we got previous daily. If it lets me, doesn't let me. Here we go. Nice. We got previous daily high still intact. We got Asia high still intact. We got Asia low still intact. So we got a nice, where is it there? Asia high. We've got Asia low as well. 
Can I still focus on my articulating my English? And uh, it doesn't need to. Okay. Whoa, I'm sorry. I don't want it to sound too Dutch. No. <laughs> I heard someone say that's nice Dutch English, but nah, fam. That is ugly as day. Ugly as night, actually. A little bit. So I can focus. I don't grab around with. So, all right. So we got we got previous daily highs in tech. We got Asia highs in tech. We got Asia low still in tech. So what are we looking for? Well, we had a bullish break here. I don't know why I'm on the one hour because I don't need to be. Um, Fifty minute wise. First of all, if we can remove this trend line. And we can see that we have a high, a low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low. Except, oh. Sorry, exactly on the previous weekly level. We got that bullish break. We got that return to discount. We got a bullish break, a bearish break. Grabbing liquidity. Got nice equals there. They're being taken out. And then that's followed by another bullish break. And that's the new leg we're working with. So we got this low that leads to this high or led to that high. We got our internal range liquidity. We got a 50 minute PY that's already mitigated. Well, we got also got this one here. That's our 50 minute demand zone that took this liquidity. And if I go to low time frames, yeah. Let's see, we already tapped back in. So if I take this one actually, let me see what that one is. Oh, it's a bit tricky with this. I'm sticking with this one. And what I'm going to do is something I usually don't do, but just for sake, so I can better understanding is that actually we find that we're different. We got a 15 minute fair value gap, five minute fair value gap over there, and it sits below that liquidity, but essentially longs from below all this liquidity. On the discount area and shorts from above previous daily highs and ideally from here but for here from here we look for deeper long a short and from here we just look for a sorry for a minor one to four trade and then out <clears throat> we got 15 minutes so you get seen up here. One on one slightly larger here. But yeah, I'm looking for longs from this 50 minute demand zone. I'm correct, I don't know. Demand. I'm looking for shorts from above here. Ideally from here. So actually I'm saying shorts from above here. It might be possible, but highest probability then would be to take it from the premium. So yeah, I would say let's see, let's see. Let's just wait. Let's see how price forms. Okay. Do we have ready early sellers? No. We don't have even early sellers yet. So we gotta wait for that as well. Plus this is your early sellers, but it's too early for me. So Wait for. You get a break here though. But then you have that continuation. And you have high, a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low. Now I don't even know if this one is reaching back into discount price. And yeah, it does. So in order to be valid, valid resellers, we need this one to break. Um, 
Yeah. Let's wait for price. And all of it. if we don't get anything, there's not even a trade set up. And we can just wait for this high for the premium pricing anyway. Now, lining that up with, with DXY again. DXY is coming lower. Oh. Let's get to bed earlier. It's not even going to bed early. We still got this range. Um, broke above, broke below. And then but you, you want to see higher pricing today, short. That would mean lower pricing for DXY. It's actually this range. Okay, that's a bit tricky. Hmm. That already reached back into premium pricing. So that would mean that the fuck? Sorry, this one. Oh, it does actually. See? I almost made a mistake there. This one does reach back into discount pricing. So our new range, but we didn't come above yet. That's why. So what I'm gonna do is get this little brush. So I remember that we already reached into discount pricing. Uh, wait, here we broke below again. So here we have a new range, but I'll just see. I just can't unsee this stuff as internal range liquidity. And then that we get a move like this. Finish the uh, That's nice error. Yeah, I can't see on that. I can't see that. Other than that, this why is not not the clean. You not well. It's clean because we didn't reach above yet, and if we reach above, we could look for short. So that that makes EU clean. Um, for DXY. <sighs> There's a uh, monster over there. That's the only thing I see. You see how it swipe, swift, swoop, sweep, whatever. I took those lows and then gave him move. So that's the only thing I see now. Um, for you, yeah, as long as you don't break above here, it's longs from here, shorts from here. Um, it seems like we're going to take it out. <clears throat> then we have a new range to work with, and that's an ugly as range. Because, well, look at this, it's just one choppy move with trend line liquidity and everything so I wouldn't like to do that as a range but let's see <clears throat> then GU GU is looking nice no nah, not it's not kind of is we zoom out well, it just turns into a messy analysis because now I have to look and search and see what's happening. Yeah, we can just expand this range and we can look for longs as we broke above here. Just about. We can look for longs from below here.
Emily, um, what's it called? Order flow to mods on break. Next one, next. Now we put trades from there. So for, mm, hold on. yeah, we already took previous daily highs. It's just not that clean, man. <laughs> just give me the cleanest PA ever. I want to trade that. To be fair, I can just wait for that. No one take trades, so it's no excuse. If you want the cleanest PA, just wait for the cleanest PA. If you don't get it, don't trade it. You went into the thing more risk, then yeah. Buff Asia High is looking for shorts. For premium pricing, I would look for shorts. Now, what's there in the premium? Got this zone. Got this supply zone. Shorts. Um, other than that, yeah, buff here, but let's just focus on this one first. This is the one that with the continuation previous data highs were taken. Usually the lows are still intact following the structure. Why would no I am tired? Um yeah, so short from here, longs from here, EU. Shorts from here or here and longs from here and the XY longs from here, shorts from above that as well. So it's been a little bit more tricky. Now high time for wise. Let's just look so there at the candles. What can we see? <clears throat> kind of turnaround candle came above that high, give the bearish closure, not the strongest. EU pretty much same to the low. If the bullish closure, closure, but not the strongest either. And then G use indicating longs. G is indicating longs with that doji's closure. And then it, it did close bearish, but just about. So we get one, two potential three pin pattern over there. Ooh, that's been a while that I watched that. You can actually take shorts of that longs. One, two, and then bullish closure, three. And you enter here, stops below here, long, one, two, three, um, same for that bearish one, one, two, bearish closure. Stops below the high, where do we target the next low? Interesting, but yeah, so I gave you the areas where what I'm looking at below this above here, above here. If you break above here, I will I have to um draw the new range from this high from this low up to this high, whether I like it or not, because that's the way the way I see the market. Although I think that it might be a fake range, I still have to follow the structure. Um doesn't mean that I need to trade it because if I think the structure is unclear or misleading. I still follow it, but I don't need to trade it. I just say, okay, I wait for a new leg. See, trading is so simple, man. That is so simple. If you just do it like that, only trade when you want to, only trade when it's super clear. If it's not clear, just don't trade. Not, say, not saying I'm making big money of trading, not saying I'm, I'm super profitable at the moment. I'm consistent, I'm really consistent. And that's the most important thing, especially in my mindset. I'm really consistent right now, but yeah, um, yeah, we can see those equals here. I think the feet changed. No, but these are just equals. Come on, they will be taken soon. So yeah, that's my pre-market analysis. Bit of a messy ending there. Or the past ten minutes, first ten minutes were more clear. Um. Yeah, that's it. Catch you guys in the market. Peace out. Oh, oh, please.